The Minister for Science, Innovation and Technology, Dr. Monica Mosenero, has said that there is need for trainers in vocational training institutions remodel their courses to equip learners with skills and knowledge for flexibility in the job market. Usually, 2 to 5 percent of our population can sustainably build a business. The rest of the people fit as workforce. And what I've seen that in most of our vocational institutions, we are not equipping these people how to be good workers in a job. We are instead equipping them only how to start your own business. And many of them end up not starting the businesses or the businesses they start, they die, they are too small, they actually don't have enough capital. So let's equip them for both. While officiating at the third graduation ceremony at Humanity First Vocational Training Institute in Ibudaka Town Council, Dr. Mosenero revealed that learners need training that will require them to work under minimum supervision and to be able to manage their own businesses. These people who are starting here, can I put them into Chira Motors and they work? Many of these people who graduate here, when you put them to do a job, they usually run away. We say, oh, they work us so hard, they don't know how to relate with colleagues, because we trained them as if each one of them is going to have their own job. The majority of these people, the best place to start is to find a job and work under someone as they build their own enterprise. That is the realistic way. The chairman, Board of Governors, Humanity First Uganda, Muhammad Ali, asserted that every individual was endowed with a talent which they can effectively exploit if they are to progress in the job market. The humans are required to tirelessly work to develop the areas where they live and develop the locality as well. In other sense, develop their country. Every citizen of Uganda is duty bound to contribute to the development of this country. Some of the graduates explained why they undertook vocational studies. Muhammad Iga, Brian Tumwinebiaruhanga, UBC News.